Good morning, it's Lissy. It is Wednesday, January 21st, and um, I almost said it was Tuesday, because it's been, you know, Monday was a holiday, so it's a short week, which is always a nice feeling. Um, but there are a few things I wanted to talk to you about today, one of which is CC creams. Have you um, tried them? Because I ordered two. I just didn't know which color to get. So I ordered the Rachel K. CC creams. One in, um, like one is the original and the other is neutral. And I tried the original this morning. I think one has, I forget which one has what. But one has more like pink undertones and one is more, I guess, neutral. But I tried this one today, which is the original. Just my very first impression, oh my God. So I, some people use this as, I guess their moisturizer slash like almost like a um, tinted moisturizer. I don't find this moisturizing at all. And actually from everything I've seen online, videos I've watched and read, things I've read, if you have dry skin, which I generally do, um, I think this has some talc or something in it. but. I put this on, I did my normal moisturizing routine, and then I put this on, and it was almost like I watched the the pink in my cheeks like vanish. Like it I you I couldn't leave it alone because you need something still to give it a nicer, smoother look. But it really, like my very first impression, this is the very first day I've tried it, I'm very impressed. Like, that's one of the things that bothers me the most about my skin. Like, I think I have re relatively good skin, especially given I'm 45 and I don't really have wrinkles. But um, I do get a lot of redness, especially in the winter um, in Boston. So, very first try, love this. I'll keep using it and I'll let you know. And I'll try the different color and see if there's really... I, I, I can't imagine there's a huge difference because you're using this under something. Um, but anyway, so Rachel K. C. C. Cream, and I'll put the link, um, in the kind of information box, um, so you know where to get this if you want to try it. So that's that. Oh, the other thing, so I did order, remember I talked to you about the Deborah Lippman, the, um, kind of gel-like nail polish? So this is the little kit. I haven't used it yet, but see, there are two things. I think it's like a base coat and a top coat. But one of my, um, one of the people that follows along on my blog, um, she bought it and she used it and she said it really works. She said the one thing is it's like beware of the odor, but I guess it's nail polish. So, um, but I'm going to try this. You know, I don't know if I'll try it this weekend because I actually have a proper manicure and pedicure this weekend. Um, but next time I kind of try it, my hand at doing my own nails, I'm definitely going to try this. Because I think this is like a great idea. Um, she also hasn't tried yet taking it off to see how easy that is. But I'm psyched about that. Um, then the other thing is just today the lips. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. Um, this is Max Lady Danger. It's a really nice like orangey red. And this is one, you know, I'm, you know, a makeup junkie and I don't often repeat my lipsticks because there's always a newer, better one, but this is one that I repeat because, um, it's such a good color. I love it. And then I use the red, it's R E D D <laughs> liner with it. Um, this one actually, you know, I think I initially got this because if you ever look at Joanna Hillman, you know, she's one of the bizarre editors. She always has this lip. Always. Like, I don't think she does anything else. Um, and I think I had looked into it and it was Max Lady Danger that she usually wears. So there you go. That's that. Um, oh, the other thing I did want to mention. So Pam commented. She used to live in Boston. She lives in Miami now. And she asked about going into um, Chanel stores and being, you know, feeling a little maybe intimidated. Um, and this is my advice. Well, first of all, I buy my Chanel jewelry either from Chanel boutiques 
or um, usually a Neiman Marcus because they have a nice Chanel department. And as you know, my friend Alicia works there. So I have, you know, somebody that can easily help me with anything. Um, but I'll say this, like I, there was a time when I was intimidated going into certain stores. I've gotten over that. You know what? I, I just, you know, I, I especially, I probably used to be more intimidated going into clothing stores. Um, cause I never really felt like things would fit me. And not that I've ever been, I mean, I've never been small, but I've never been, you know, like this is how I've kind of always been. Like I always carry an extra, I don't know, probably now 15 pounds at least. Um, but you know, always something extra. And I'm at the top end of the kind of regular sizing scale. So I always, I always felt like certain stores, things just were not going to fit me. And that is true in certain stores, but I do find like, you know, they like to make things look pretty. So they just put two of the small sizes out. So sometimes you just have to ask, but, um, so I've gotten over being afraid. Like if they have my size, they have it. If they don't, they don't. And, um, as far as like the Chanel stores, I have actually found the people to be, you know, perfectly, you know, it's, I guess it just depends on the store and who you get, but that's with any store. I've, I've found a lot of the people to be perfectly healthy and health, not healthy, perfectly helpful and perfectly nice. Um, but having said all that, you know, also if you have like somebody in your local Saks, Neiman's, you know, whatever your store is, um, they can usually get you what you want if you know what you want. Um, but also I'll put Alicia's email address, um, also in the information box because she's happy to help anybody. So if, you know, you can either tell her what you want or if you tell her the kind of thing you like, she can keep her eye out for you. Um, so yeah. And then I was thinking there might have been something else I wanted to mention. And, you know, these, I need to write these things down. But it's totally escaping me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it'll come back. But I, tonight, am going to um, an event. So I'm part of... There's this group called FGI, which is Fashion Group International. There are there they we have a Boston chapter and there are chapters in different cities, but um, but I think it's largely I think it was an, initially a New York organization and maybe started in New York and um, but anyway, there's a Boston chapter. I'm involved this year, and so about you know generally once a month we try to put on events. Um, and so there's something at the room and board store um, over on Newberry Street this evening that I'm going to that'll be very fun and interesting. I'll also put the link to FGI. Um, if you're in the Boston area, you should sign up because there are going to be, I think, some fun events over the next, you know, year. But, you know, I think we like over the next few months we have ideas in mind. Um, yeah, no, I still didn't remember what else I wanted to tell you. So I'm going to show you today's get up. So I'm again wearing the Moschino bracelet, and then this is my Stephanie Cantus necklace, which I've told you before, it's convertible. Like you can, the charm, charm, it's more of a pendant, I guess. The pendant comes off, and the necklace, like, you can make it different lengths. You can see I've got it, like, linked here in just some dangling chain. You can wrap it around twice. You could wear it longer. You could wear it shorter. All sorts of things. Um, and then this is a red Valentino little peplum jacket. I'm wearing a basic little black Tara Jarman, um, dress and some over the knee Stuart Weitzman boots. And I'm, I switched out my black bag. I'm carrying an Alexander McQueen. I think it's the heroin bag. I'll show it to you up close. So here is the heroin bag. Isn't it pretty? I will say it's a really nice bag. The only, and this is not a big gripe, but my only real gripe is like to open it, you know, to get in it, you have to kind of do that. You know, the stupid things that bother you. Um, okay. So there we go. Yeah, so little peplum jacket long. The, knee, the boots, you can't really tell with the tights, but they go up to here. They're suede in the front and elastic in the back. 
and they have a good like sensible heel um so i think that's it for today i hope you have a fabulous wednesday and i'll chat you up soon bye